Hello, my name is Caitlin Adams and I am doing my informative speech today on high blood pressure. So let's talk about the doctor's office. You know every single time you go, that nurse puts that cuff on your arm and it gets super tight and you're wondering why you have to do it every single time you're there, even when you're just there for a runny nose. Well that little device is called a spigmo manometer and it measures your blood pressure. Measuring your blood pressure and keeping up with it is very important because if it gets too high it can cause many health issues. Hypertension, sorry, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, is also known as the silent killer. Not many people know that they have it. I chose this topic because my father has high blood pressure, and as I will state in a little bit, high blood pressure can be genetic. I also have high blood pressure, and I am trying to look for ways and doing research on how I can avoid the health issues that my dad has faced. We're going to talk about the dangers, some causes, treatments, and prevention of high blood pressure today. First, let's talk about blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is basically, if you want to sum it all up into a quick little thing, it's the force of blood going through your arteries at all times. We measure it with two numbers. You have your top number and your bottom number. Your top number is your systolic pressure. That is going to be the maximum amount of pressure of the blood going through your veins as your heart is contracting. Then we have our diastolic. That's going to be the minimum amount of pressure of your blood going through your veins as your heart is relaxing. So, our normal numbers. Then we have our elevated. We have three stages of high. Whenever you go to the doctor the next time, you need to ask your nurse, you know, what your numbers were, where you were at, what's going on. They really won't say stuff most of the time because, you know, your blood pressure can kind of spike whenever you're in the doctor's office. It, it raises in under stressful situations sometimes. So the next time you're in there, just ask. So let's talk about some of the dangers. Now, if you have a constant high blood pressure reading all the time, you are way more at risk for a heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, sometimes also complete heart failure. Now the CDC, CDC states that 75 million Americans have high blood pressure. That is one in every three people, and only half of them have it under control. In 2014, they stated that 410,000 deaths were, were because of high blood pressure. That is 1,100 deaths a day. For something that not many people know that they have, that's a lot of deaths. So let's talk about some of the causes of blood pressure. As I stated earlier, it can be genetic. So you need to you need to ask your parents, talk to your family, see if they've had high blood pressure, see if you're at risk, if you're more at risk. Um, and then also the environment that you put yourself in, whether it's unhealthy eating, you're not exercising, you're, you know, just an unhealthy lifestyle can cause your blood pressure to rise. So let's talk about some of the treatments for blood pressure. If you know you have it, what can be done about it? Your doctor diagnosis you, he can prescribe you medicine. Now if it's something more around the elevated blood pressure range, he might just change some of your lifestyle changes. You know, tell you, you maybe eat better, exercise a little bit, and maybe that can help you. That way you don't have to take medication every day. Now if you're in these ranges, probably going to take medication and diet and exercise. I would definitely do both. Now, that's some of the treatments. It kind of goes with the prevention as well, though, because your, you know, your lifestyle changes with your treatment goes with prevention of high blood pressure, and that is going to go with healthier eating, heart-healthy diets, lower sodium intake in your foods, exercising daily, limit your alcohol intake, uh, quit smoking if you are a smoker. That can damage your vessels a whole lot as well. You know, monitoring your blood pressure, knowing your body, and a healthy lifestyle are some of the first steps in preventing this disease that can damage your body. High blood pressure is so common, not many people know that they have it, so a lot of people are just highly susceptible to this disease because they don't keep track of it. So the next time you go to the doctor's office, Ask the nurse how your blood pressure is looking and make some changes today. A healthier lifestyle has way more benefits than keeping your blood pressure at a normal range. There's so much more that you can do for yourself 
just by eating healthier, being healthier. And I, you know, I really, I wish you luck. I quit smoking. I've changed my lifestyle and I feel 10 times better. And I feel my blood pressure has gone down so low. So there is hope. Thank you.